Well, good day, everyone. I wanted to talk to you today about this uh, microphone set, which is it's wireless, and it's from it's called LensGo, and I'll show you this in the studio how this fully works. So I'm in this amazing sunflower field in Dunstown. Uh, you can actually purchase these as well. Uh, tonight's open for a, a late night shoot for sunset, so it should be really uh, good fun here. Um, so they did send it to me. Now it's actually from a company uh, called LensGo, uh, and this one here is the LWM. 328C lavalier wireless microphone system. Uh, and like I said, that there is a version where you just get one transmitter and one receiver. Uh, this has uh, one receiver and two transmitters. Uh, so you could say, uh, record two people. Like if, uh, for instance, I might like to use this on a bride and a groom, something like that. Or if you're say interviewing uh, two people, uh, it works really, really great for that. Um, so what I'll do is I'll take you through it. I'll just show you the website so you can see um, where where it comes from and a little bit about this before I show you the actual units themselves. Uh, so these are the two units. Now this is the two system. So this is the one transmitter uh, and the one receiver uh, that you're looking at here. Uh, the beauty is if you do have the uh, two transmitters, well then you will see an A and a B. Uh, and they come through on the stereo channel as separate channels, which is great. And then you can just convert them to mono later on. So you can change that to suit exactly what you want. Uh, they're really nice little units. I'll show you the size in a minute compared to my uh, hand. Um, the operating system is good too, and I'll show you how that works. Um, what I do love though is how you can put an SD card into this, into the units uh, and record it in case if you drop the signal. I have noticed sometimes with these type of devices, any of them, if something comes between you, you will lose the signal. So this gives you a safeguard against that. And I really wish they all had this. Uh, so this is a wonderful um, bit to this. Now it, it's a 32 gigabyte card. Uh, that would give you hours of recording uh, with this as well. Uh, it does have infrared uh, sync uh, pairing function. I found that mine were already synced when I got them uh, straight out of the box. But if you did want to add you know, more units or later on change the channels and things, you can do that just through this in infrared sync port. Uh, that comes through there. Uh, another thing I do like about these is, and again, I'll show this, is that you can put your normal AA batteries into this. Now, some may like that, some may not. I actually quite like that because I have multiple ones of these that I use for my flashes, and it's easy to just take that and put them in. It does also have Type-C charging as well been to, built into it, so you could connect it to a battery bank or something like that uh, if you wanted to do that uh, as well. So I think that's a really good thing. You can see the charger actually goes in here, so you could take multiple batteries. Um, it will go 492 feet long distance receiving. Uh, it's about 150, 65 meters. I have done a test of that, but like everything, they all seem to do what they say they do. So I did test it, but I stopped around 50 meters and I'll show you that because I never ever use it past that sort of uh, range anyway. Uh, and there's two systems you can use. You can lose a, a low power type system, which will give you um, a shorter range, but the battery life will last longer, or you can put it up to maximum power, uh, but the battery life would drain a little bit faster. Uh, and it seems to be a really nice little unit. In the box, um, like I said, this one here is the um, the two version, which means you get one tr um, transmitter and one receiver. Uh, like I said, I've got the um, one with the two uh, transmitters in this one, which I think is probably better for the things that I do, uh, but you don't need to go that way if you don't want to. You do get the TX and the RX. Uh, you get a windproof little sock for your microphones. You get two microphones. Well, I got two microphones in the, in the system I got. You'll get one microphone, obviously, if you get the um, two box version. Uh, you get a cold shoe uh, as well, a storage bag. You also get two leads, which is nice and handy as well. You get a smartphone cable and also a camera cable, and you get the collar clip as well. So to tell you about the specs of this camera, um, I'll leave the link down below so I can share the site and you can have a read of the specs. Um, it tells you that the lifetime on two batteries though is around about five hours, uh, which is terrific. And like I said, you can just recharge them up on a USB battery bank or just replace the batteries, uh, which work uh, really nice as well. Just to tell you the weight is 88 grams of each device. Um, and that's about it. The size is 185 millimeters, including the antenna, 65 millimeters and 25 millimeters, uh, obviously without the antenna. 
Okay, so let's look at the units themselves, just so I can show you how they uh, are. That this is sort of to my hand size, so you can see the size that they are. Uh, not too big. I mean, they are definitely bigger than a Rode Wireless Go or something like that. Um, and I suppose you have to take that into consideration uh, if you wanted to travel really small. Uh, but looking at the units themselves, I've left the microphone in this one, so you can see how it is. Now they don't have an internal mic; uh, they just work from a uh, wireless lav. Um, this is your USB-C port and your batteries uh, just going like that. So that's how simply you can put them in and you can charge them through this USB port as well. They do have a belt clip uh, here as well. This is where you would put your card in. Uh, if we look at this one, I've got the card actually in. So you can see the card is is actually here. Um, and that's a great feature. Like I said, that was one of the things that I loved uh, about this system. Um, this here too is a line in. So you could say uh, put, if you're doing say weddings or something like that, you could go from the um, your mixing board straight in if you wanted to record that way, uh, back to your camera. So it does have multiple things that you can use. It has a nice, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see it, but it has a nice textured finish to it uh, that looks really quite nice. Uh, when you're looking at them and this is uh, your infrared port through the back. Um, the only difference really between this and the um, receiver is the fact you've got two antennas on the receiver. You've got the monitor which is you can connect this your headphones into this so you can use it say on something like an A6400 if you wanted to um, use something that hasn't got a, a headphone output like the A6400 does, doesn't I mean. Uh, and you can also then stick your output, this is where you go into your camera uh, through there as well. Um, it's got exactly the same controls which is your uh, infrared and you've got your USB and your battery compartment. I've actually got the camera hot shoe mount or cold shoe mount connected through here as well. Um, but they're really nice units. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I might show you how these units actually work. Okay, so I've turned the lights down here so you can see the actual control uh, through here. To turn the, the actual receiver on, you just press the set button and you'll see it'll just come up with the lens go and then it will actually start. Now it's telling you the channel. So this is your A channel, this is your B channel. You can use it with just one receiver if you wanted to. Uh, it will tell you the battery strength uh, through your uh, both of your transmitters as well and it tell, shows you a signal strength uh, as well. Now if I turn the other units on, now the other units start by just pushing in uh, a control on the, on the top which is a button here. Um, I'll turn both of those on and you'll notice once I turn these on that it will show and be reflected here. Okay, so now that it's on, the battery strength does show, but it sort of switches between both of them, I've noticed, but it does give you a display to show how much battery's left in there. Uh, that's your battery of your uh, transmitter up the top, up there. Um, through here, uh, you'll notice now that this is on 93. You'll notice here that this is on 93. I might change these around just so they're in the right order. Um, so you'll see that this one is showing 97, which corresponds to this, the A channel, and the B channel is 93, which corresponds to the B channel uh, through here, which uh, is good because you can s uh, definitely see what's going on through this. Uh, and also, uh, you'll sort of see too that it shows the signal that's coming through uh, these as well. Now this one won't have a signal because there's no microphone attached. Uh, but this one, for instance, if I talk into this mic, one, two, three, four, that's the mic actually picking up. Testing, one, two, three, four. Now, if you press the power button up here once, it, you'll see it brings a line through. That means the device is muted. So you can mute the device uh, if you want to. Uh, if I click it again, it becomes active. Uh, so that's nice and handy. Like, say, for instance, if you were doing a wedding or someone wanted to go to the toilet or something like that, you don't have to listen uh, why it's going on. So the way I've got this set up at the moment is it's in stereo. So what it will do, it will put one uh, transmitter on one channel, say the left, and then it will put the other one on the right channel. And then you could just mix them down to mono later on. Um, you can also just, if you want to do mono, um, which will record both into the same settings, uh, if you wanted to go that way. So they both be mixed uh, as they are in a mono channel, uh, you know, and you can set all this up inside here. And I'll talk about that as we look through it uh, itself. So let's go through the menu system of the actual receiver and I'll show you the sort of settings that you can set. Okay, so let's look at the menu through the actual transmitter itself. Um, 
So all you do is you press the set button to bring this up. Now you can then power off each unit if you want to. You'll notice there's a power A, and if you come down to here, there will be a power B as well um, there. The other thing too is um, if you come up to uh, the channel A, you can also then determine your volume for uh, channel A and also channel B. So if you're listening to your mix and you find that uh, one of them is louder than the other, you can control it directly from here. So that's really good if you're doing that, particularly if you're uh, recording mono and they'll both be mixed down into the one channel. So that's great. You can also search uh, for them automatically, what channels uh, they're all on, frequencies, etc. Uh, and yet, like I said, you've got full control over channel A and channel B through this as well. Um, if we keep coming down, you can also uh, use the IR to do your channel searching as well. You can also lock um, each device as well. So you can turn the power key lock off. So if you want to make sure that you can't accidentally turn it off, you can use that here to do that. This is how you stop the LED from turning off as well. Uh, you can click in here and say delay for 30 seconds, which it was before, as you saw, it kept turning off. Uh, and you can also leave it on if you want to or turn it off if you wanted to do that. Uh, as well. Um, audio output, this is where you determine whether you'd like it in stereo. I'm used, I used stereo when I was testing this so I could see if both microphones worked uh, and how they came out on independent channels. If you went to mono, it would mix it down to a mono track so you can't separate it later on. Um, so I'd probably recommend the best way to do this really is to, uh, if you're using two devices, to have it in uh, stereo. Uh, because then it will come into a left and right channel. Uh, if you wanted to mix down, you can just use mono. Uh, we'll exit out of that as well. Um, if we come down, you can select your language, and then you can also reset the device and then exit. So that's simply how it is. It's very, very simple to use. Uh, there's not really much in them at all. Okay, so let's now look at one of the transmitters uh, because they have a couple of uh, different controls on the transmitters themselves. Again, you just get into the menu by clicking here. Uh, you've got to hold it this time though. Uh, and then I found, like, like I said, you can change the channel and the frequency, uh, but mine was set up uh, when I got it, so I don't have to do any of that. Like I said, if you're worried about someone turning the power off, you can lock that out uh, if you wanted to. Um, mic gain in here, you can go from minus uh, uh, three, sorry, plus three, and you can go to minus three as well. So you can control the mic gain through here uh, if you wanted to. Uh, if I go down to, you can turn the LED off or keep it on, whichever way you'd like. It also has a low cut filter as well. Uh, so you can set that to on or off. Um, at the moment it's off. Now your audio input, uh, you can say this is where if you're going to use the line in or the mic. At the moment I'm using mic in, but if I wanted to record from a uh, desk or something like that, a mixing desk, uh, I can stick in through the uh, line in as well uh, if I wanted to go that way. Uh, and then you've got TX power. This is the thing that I was talking about before. At the moment, it's set on high, so that's you, you will get maximum distance if it's on high. Uh, if you were only working very, very close to the subject, you could just put it on middle. Um, I found, I just tested it with the high the other day, uh, but I, I do believe you save quite a bit of battery if you put it onto middle. Um, the, uh, uh, this is the record menu. So if you click into here, you can actually enable the recording, which is enable the recording onto your SD card, and then it will record every time this unit's turned on. Uh, so that's great as well. So it's just a backup, and I think it's terrific to have that option there uh, as well. Um, if I just come out of that, uh, then you've just got language and reset and then exit. So they're both of how the units are controlled. So very, very simple, not much in them really, at all uh, that could go wrong. So what we'll do now is we'll go out and do a distance test on it, just so you can sort of see how far I can get out of this. Like I said, I don't expect it to you know, have any issues at all. Um, and uh, I'll also give you a listen to the backup recording as well, uh, because you can sort of test that. And I'll put it on the bottom where the uh, I changed from using the wireless to the backup audio, because I think the backup recordio actually is a really good audio. Uh, so I'll show you that too in the uh, video you're going to see now. So what I'm going to do here though now is I'm just going to do a, a test. I'm not going to go too far because I've done these a million times and I'm sure this will go way more than what I'd ever use it at. But I'm going to walk away uh, and just see if uh, we get the signal continuing right the way through. So I'm going to start basically now. Now I'm probably around about uh, five metres away. I'm using a very wide angle lens at the moment. Uh, so I'm just going to start walking and uh, count. All right, so uh, we're about five metres. So five, six, seven, 
8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now I'm going to be walking around all over the place. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Is that still okay? 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Is that still okay, Kerry? Yep. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 49, 50. So I'm around about 50 metres away. I'm just seeing if Kerry waves to say uh, that it's still okay. Yeah, well, there you go. I mean, look, that's uh, quite a fair way where you can probably see me down here anyway waving. Uh, and I'm happy with that. Look, I'm sure this would just keep going and going and going, but we just don't need to have them uh, go that far. So let me know what you think about uh, the whole thing. I, I think it's terrific. Uh, look, I mean, it is big if you're comparing it to something like the Rode Wireless Go and those other units, uh, but they haven't got the backup uh, that this has got, which I really like. I love that ability to say back up something in case if you're working at distance or you were worried about something cutting out. So this is certainly useful, particularly if you'd say doing weddings or something like that, where you wanted to make sure you did not lose the signal. Um, and I think that's a great uh, feature because sometimes uh, if you're say doing a wedding and you've got multiple things happening at the one time, uh, you know, I have had before interference or something like that that's come across uh, the groom's microphone or the celebrant or something like that or the priests. Uh, this would get around that because you would have the internal recording inside to always give you that backup. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will leave the link where you can get this. Thank you so much for Lensgo for sending me this. Um, and apart from that, guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.